I hope in this module you've begun to get a little bit of insight into how the process of science works. This feedback between observations and theories, weeding out theories on the basis that they don't agree with our observations and our experiments. So like any human endeavour, there's a lot of pitfalls in science, there's a lot of red herrings, we take the wrong turn in the road, and it takes us a little while to actually establish the, the truth. But the scientific method and this process of observation and theory and matching our theory to all of the known facts should get us to the right answer in the end. And we've seen that through the way that our theory of gravity was first thought of by Newton and then been slightly modified and refined by Einstein. And we've also seen how this simple process has shown us how the universe has evolved and where the universe that we see today has come from. We've even used some very basic principles and some very simple mathematics to actually calculate the age of the universe. So through astronomy, we can make discoveries about the universe and how it works. But remember Newton's special insight that the laws of physics which apply out in the universe are the same ones which apply here. The laws of physics are universal laws. And we can see that beautifully illustrated if we compare the smoke rising from a candle that's just been blown out to jets coming from a radio galaxy. So the purple jets that you see in this image are charged particles um, moving very rapidly away from a black hole at the centre of a galaxy. They're streaming out into space, just like the little soot particles from a candle are streaming out into the air that fills this room. And we can see that although one is macroscopic, it's on the scale that we can see and understand, and the other one is an, on an incredibly large scale. These jets are bigger than a galaxy. We see that exactly the same forces are at work. Exactly the same laws of physics are shaping a cloud of smoke from a candle and the jets from a radio galaxy, which are millions and millions of light years long. I hope you've enjoyed this module. In the next module, we'll be looking at the vital role that technology plays in doing science.